Before you attempt to do a crossfire configuration, there's a couple of things that you need to check. Firstly, that you have the slots for it. For instance, we have three PCI Express slots here, and we can see we are actually going to be using the top two because they are both PCI Express 16 times. The second thing that you need to do is make sure that you have two graphics cards which are the same. For instance, we're using the AMD Reference 6850 and the HIS 6850. You also need to make sure that you have a crossfire bridge. Sometimes they come with your graphics card, most of the time they come with your motherboard. For instance, here's one crossfire bridge and here's a slightly longer crossfire bridge. So it all depends on your motherboard. We can see that on this motherboard the slots themselves are quite close together so we will be using the shorter bridge. And it's just a matter of installing a graphics card just like you normally would into the slot until it clicks into place and then getting the second one and installing that into place and you'll hear that click into place. One thing that you will notice is that these cards do sit extremely close together so just be sure that the temperatures remain at a reasonable level. Once you've done that you can then continue to get your crossfire bridge and on the top connect it to one then connect it to another card and that is the crossfire bridge installed. You can then continue to plug the PCI Express power adapters into the relevant six pin ports or depending on the card it may have a six pin, an eight pin, an eight pin, a six pin and so forth. You can then continue to connect your DVI or HDMI, mini display port, display port connector to one of the graphics cards and then you can boot up your system. Then once you're in Windows you can continue to install the AMD Catalyst drivers and it will recognize that you've got two cards. I hope that helps you with installing a crossfire configuration and be sure to check out etechnics.com very soon where we will have more how-to videos.